in many ways we're experiencing a certain powerlessness of, for many people being locked in their houses and not having the freedom that we used to have. Um, and what that exposes is that at some level, we probably have never had the freedom we really would love to have. We all want to be free inside. And to me, freedom, inner freedom is very much part of being the solution. But at the same time, it's brought out many fears in people of other kinds of powerlessness. And the problem with powerlessness is whatever you blame or feel is responsible for your powerlessness, if you have emotion, an emotional response towards that thing, person, institution, organization, system, construct, or whatever that thing is, you are contributing energy, you are giving energy to the thing that makes you feel powerless. That doesn't matter whether it's an incident that happened in your childhood um, or a power construct in the world that you do not like. When you are angry or emotional about it or self-righteous about it, you are giving it strength. And that is clearly not the way we want to live. We do not want to give strength to the things we don't believe in or the things that we really, things that have made us miserable in our life. Why would we want to give strength to those? But because we live in a culture um, and we participate in that culture, like we play the game of the culture, which is to give strength to the enemy all the time, whatever the enemy is, we, we have to really, I would almost say work hard with our consciousness. Anyone who knows me well will know that I don't use the words working hard lightly because I teach working light, which is really different from working hard. But there, if, if I work hard anywhere, I would say it's with, it's with consciousness that there are times, and this time has really been one of those where I grapple with topics. I grapple with what's in front of me to find a conscious response to it instead of the default response, which is again, again going to contribute to the problem. And whether it's how we communicate with each other, which I wrote about last week in my blog, or how we view power and how we express power in the world, or any of the other myriad topics, how we respond to illness, all of these things, those are the things where I feel that grappling is worthwhile, grappling for the sake of being more conscious. For And for me, being conscious is making decisions based on awareness. So they're not just gut decisions. They're based on awareness. So I expand my awareness in order to be able to source information to help me make the decision. And that decision changes my reality. It's not a decision I kind of make in my imagination that doesn't change anything. It's a decision that is enacted in my world and therefore impacts my reality and the other reality of people, other people. And I mean the physical material reality of my everyday life. So consciousness is about taking responsibility in my own life for how I respond to things and how I think how I feel, how I speak, and how I act. And that is sometimes hard work. It's uh, easy to go with the gut. It's actually quite easy to go with the flow. Consciousness doesn't always just go with the flow. It doesn't always float downstream. And so um, to me, that is the most um, valuable contribution or, or work that I found is actually working at the consciousness level in every kind of solution to any kind of problem that I've ever found. I've worked for many years with energy and always work with energy, but it's where we bring in consciousness, which um, at, at one level is how we operate within energy that uh, we are most powerful and also where we can find a simple, natural way. We don't have to pump ourselves up into some extraordinary being 
um, in order to express our power. There's a simple naturalness to it, which is what I really appreciate. 